Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a very exciting video. This look on my face here I have featured. Um, it is so exciting for me because it's kind of fallish. You know, it's got some purples and some maroons and I'm obsessed with both. So if you want to know how to get this look featuring ColourPop, then just keep watching. So I'm going to be starting out with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I know my eyebrows look scary right now, but you just wait. Anyways, um, this is just original, and I'm just going to put that on my lid to prep for our shadows. And I'm actually going to bring a little bit of that underneath my eyes. This is called Desert, and I'm just going to use this on a crease brush and just kind of put this into the crease. The only thing with these shadows is you have to work really quickly because they're like a bouncy kind of shadow, and they're like a cream, but they, they dry like a powder, so it's weird consistencies. Um, but I really do like them, and it, it's kind of difficult to use with a brush, so you have to work quickly. Um, or once it sets, it's kind of difficult to blend. It's still blendable, but you just have to work a little bit harder with it. I'm just putting that into the crease as a transition color. And just kind of sweeping it back and forth to get some of the color to move around. And the, one thing with these is you really have to make sure you screw it back on tight because if, it, if you leave it open, it will dry out. So that is another tip for you. So next, I'm going in with the color Smash, which is similar to the first color we put in, but this one's a little bit darker. And this is also a satin. So with that one, I'm just going to put that into the crease as well, right underneath where we put the last color. Again, this is just going to help with blending and transitioning into the crease so that we have a nice gradient rather than just two different colors. So next I'm going to be going in with this color here called Hustle. And it is a very, very pretty color. It is like a deep burgundy reddish maroon. I'm horrible at describing, but it's so pretty. And this is supposed to be a matte, but there's a little bit of iridescence to it but it doesn't really show up on the lid so I'm going to be taking this on a small detailer brush and just kind of picking up some of the color and um, putting it on the outer V and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out because if I go ahead and blend it out it will be it won't set before I work on my other eye. So this is going to take a little bit of building up of the color. And I'm going to blend it out again. And I really want to focus on blending this section right here. That way it will blend seamlessly into the lid color. And when I say blend, I mean blend till your fingers fall off because this shadow is really pigmented and it, since it's a cream, it's kind of difficult to work with, but you really have to just blend it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in on the other eye. I know it looks weird, but we're working on it. Now I'm going to be going in this color called I Heart This. It is so gorgeous. 
So I'm going to be putting this all over the lid. And I'm using my finger because you pick up a lot more product that way. And I feel like it's just, it definitely transfers better, the pigmentation does, if you use your finger rather than a, um, a brush. And I'm going to try and work a little bit fast here. That way I can blend out the edge before it sets. I'm going in with this color here called Amaze. So I'm just again taking that on my finger and then I'm just going to pat that onto the lid. So then we're going to go back in and blend out that edge again. Now we're going to go back into Hustle, the burgundy shade, and back on that detailing brush and place that in the outer corner in a V shape. And I just realized that I wanted to blend that out before I put it on this side. Yikes. I gotta work fast. So we're just gonna blend it out. Since we blended so much, we lost a little bit of that metallic color on the lid, so I'm going to go back in with a maze on my finger. And I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm just going to conceal I'm just going to use this and line my upper lash line and I'm going to do a slight wing. I am going to try and keep this line as thin as possible because I really do want emphasis to be on the eyeshadow. Okay, so I've done my top mascara, but I wanted to come back on here and show you what I'm going to do with the bottom lashes. So I already did a little bit of that hustle color on the bottom lash line, but I'm going to go back in and just do a little more just to kind of smoke it out. Because when I put my concealer on, it kind of concealed what I had done. So I'm just going to put that down. And like I said, I'm only going to go in about maybe halfway or third, however big your eye is. <laughs> so anyways, next I'm going to go in with a purple liner. And this is from L. It says it's a brightening eyeliner pencil, but I I don't think that's a, I don't think that's a thing, especially if it's purple, so that doesn't make much sense to me. But anyways, and I'm going to line my waterline purple and it's actually a really close color to the hustle so that works out and I guess I'll go ahead I'm gonna only do it about the same length as the, um, the shadow and I'm actually going to bring it down onto the lower lash line so in the waterline and the lower lash line. Okay, so now I'm going to finish my mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and finished my mascara and I did the rest of my face. 
and I left my lips out because I wanted to show you guys this part. I'll be going in with my my ColourPop lippy stick. Dahlia, which is this really, really awesome fall color. It is like so vampy, and I am so excited. I love this color. this is my completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. I'm seriously obsessed with ColourPop right now. And I hope you guys share my obsession right now. Um, so if you want to see more videos just like this one, just let me know and I will do that for you. You guys are the best. Don't forget to subscribe and always remember to stay trim D. Trim, trim D. <laughs> Fail!